In this free online course, I will show you how to make Father's Day candy apples. I will also show you how to make candy apples without using a candy apple thermometer. As a beginner making candy apples, you're usually lacking the tools necessary to make candy apples, but I am going to show you how to make these alcohol infused candy apples with the bare minimum. In today's candy apple tutorial, I am using three, two, one candy apple recipe. That's three cups of sugar, two cups of water, and one cup of corn syrup. This candy apple recipe is used for small batches of candy apples. That's two. And three. Two cups of water. Again, three, two, one is three cups of sugar, two cups of water, and one cup of light corn syrup. As we'll see me use things that I usually don't use, that's because everything is packed up. Therefore, I will put a list of supplies that you will need down in the description box. Just for the record, anytime that you are stirring a hot candy apple mixture, you need to use a rubber spatula. And that information is down in the description box down below. Go ahead and stir. I am using my Wilton's white white icing color. About a teaspoon of that. Today I am going to use Hobby Lobby's navy blue. And just a drop of that. And I am just going to give it a stir. This is the color that it looks like. I am going to go ahead and put this on medium. I don't have a candy thermometer and I am just going to cook it by sight and sound. So I am going to show you how to make candy apples also with no candy thermometer. Take your apple and you just screw it on. You screw it on until it has a tight fit. You wanna turn it upside down to make sure you have no leaks. Clean paper towel and just wipe around to make sure you don't have any alcohol seeping outside the apple because if you do, bubbles will form up here at the top. You want to make sure you wipe the top of your apple to make sure there is no alcohol leaking outside the bottle because bubbles will form if there's any type of liquid or apple juice at the top. We're going to put this to the side and work on our shirts. I am using the bare minimum. You can use a cookie cutter to make two strips or you can use a knife and make two strips. All you need is two strips for your shirt. You also will need parchment paper. You usually see parchment paper laid down, but it seems like people in this household packed up everything that I need. So I am using the bare minimum. This is what you do when you don't have anything as a beginner you may not have parchment paper you may not have the fundant tools that i usually use in my videos so this is the bare minimum you can use like i said a paring knife or a kitchen knife or some type of cookie cutter to make your two strips or you can put cornstarch down on the kitchen counter and roll out your fondant and cut your fondant that way or you can use Talos powder and roll out on the kitchen counter. So here's my two strips. I 
I'm making a long strip and a shorter strip. The longer strip will be for the collar and the shorter strip will be to go in front of the candy apple for the buttons to go over. My candy apple mixture is ready. I can no longer hear the bubbles boiling in the candy apple mixture. So the best way to test to make sure the candy is ready is to drip some candy apple mixture in freezing cold water and see if it crunches. If it doesn't crunch, it's not ready. I am dipping my infused alcohol apple in the 321 candy apple mixture. Bring it up, scrape the bottom of the candy apple on the side of the pot. Best way to clean your candy apple pot is to pour water in your pot, let it boil on the stove until it forms into liquid. Let it cool, then pour down the sink. Use Dawn dishwashing liquid and a Brillo pad and you're good. Place the shorter strip of fondant on the front of your apple and the longer strip around the alcohol bottle to form the collar on the candy apple. Take a knife or if you have fondant tools, a straight edge fondant tool and straighten out your fondant so it looks neat. Use your silicone button mold and that is down in the description box down below. Place your fondant in the button. Take your button and place on the fondant. If it doesn't stick and it should stick, just dab a little water on the back of the button. You do all three buttons or however many buttons you want to make on your infused candy apple. Here's the end results on your Crown Royal infused candy apple. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you stay tuned to watch my next candy apple tutorials coming up right here on Candy Apple Infused.